I'm out here at the Women's UAE Tour, one of the early season races where some of the best riders in the world are going to go head to head. But if you are some of the best riders in the world, you don't wash your own bikes. You have someone to do it for you. So in this very video, we're going to be chatting to one of the pro mechanics to see how they wash a bike like a pro and hopefully get some tips for you at home too. Hi, Mike. How are Hi, you doing? Marlon. Good, thank you. Yeah. Good. How do you wash a bike like a pro ah, mechanic? Funny you should say that. We're just about to start washing one. Do you want to see? Yeah, let's do it. Right, Mike, what products do we need to wash the bike? Obviously, things are a little bit different here because you haven't got your big fancy bus. <laughs> you are limited to what you can bring. So what have you brought? So literally for this race, because it's like you said, flyaway race, we have a really basic area that all the mechanics can share. The organization provides us with hose pipes, water. We don't need the big pressure washer because the conditions are pretty good. So we're not needing to blow lots of mud off. So all you really need, basic wash, is bucket, sponge, couple of brushes, good degreaser and a little pot to put your degreaser in. Yeah, that's a nice little pro tip. Do you do that all the time with your... All the time. And a, a used water bottle, so we're recycling and obviously a special little um, brush as well. I like it, I like it. And do you leave the back, in, back wheel in when you're washing a bike? So for most people, um, if the bike's not too messy, then what we'd suggest is just leave the wheel in because the brakes run incorrect, it's easy to do. But in a pro wash, what we'd always do is take the rear wheel out so we can really get in and get the cassette clean, we can get the chain clean, we can get the frame clean as well, because obviously tomorrow's the first stage we want the bike to really um, ping and zing and bling. Love it. And as you said, it's not super, super dirty. You're not getting loads of mud on the bike, but will you wash the bikes after every stage? Yes, because what we're looking to do is get rid of any road grime, any road dirt. We're looking to get rid of any dirt off the tires that could potentially cause us a problem the following day. Uh, we're also looking to get rid of sweat. We're looking to get rid of any um, uh, gels off the frame. We're looking Maybe to get rid of, of any- a bit of spit on there. Bit of spit. All the nasty stuff, basically. And possibly a bit of blood. Maybe. <laughs> right, what's the first step? We'll take the back wheel out. Back wheel out, and then I'll put the rear axle back in to hold the chain on. Nice little tip. So you got your wheels out. What are you washing first? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna degrease the chain because actually when you start degreasing the chain, it's gonna drop onto the frame. So I don't wanna wash the frame and then have to wash the frame again. So um, I put my handy little water bottle into the water bottle holder. It's, it's there not just for drinks, but other purposes as well. <laughs> don't drink that though. Don't drink this one though. <laughs> then what you wanna do, uh, and an area that often gets missed is the pedal. So we're just gonna put some degreaser on and around the pedal there. I'll be honest, I've never washed my pedals. Uh, but I will now. <laughs> in fairness, when you rode for me, that's true. <laughs> and also on there. And then the next step is to then degrease the chain. And is that just a paintbrush or is that a... Just a paintbrush. You don't need any fancy specific you chain? Can, you can if you want to, but... Not for, necessary. But when, again, you're on a flyaway race, if you've forgotten something, you're not necessarily going to find something specific. So you just go and get the nearest thing and yeah. the brush is perfect. And what is actually in the... In the bottle. Is it pure degreaser or have you yeah, got a mix? We don't, we don't water down pure degreaser to really get in and get the chain clean as quickly as possible because yeah. we're looking for speed as well. Um, we use a brand for called Bike 7. Nice. And how are the girls that washing their bikes? Are they pretty on top of it when they come to you? To by, the time, by the time with they're to this level of professionalism, they're pretty good. Um, but we have to do a lot of teaching, a lot of coaching <laughs> in the early days. Maybe they'll watch this video. I hope so, mate. <laughs> maybe. So the reason that we're doing this is to really get rid of any road grime, any road dirt, any mud. And for someone at home, it's super important because actually this is the bit that gets touched the least and it's really important to get these as clean as possible for the best possible shift. What bit of the bike do you think people don't concentrate on washing the most? 
For me, people are pretty good with actually doing their chain because there's all sorts of chain tools you can clamp on and wash the thing like a special bath and that. But the bits that really get missed are the chain rings and the jockey wheels, mm -hmm. um, especially the jockey wheels because there's times when I look at jockey wheels on, uh, on sportive riders' bikes and there's just this massive buildup of mud and grime and basically little flathead screws are enough to chisel it all yeah. off. Um, and that's super important because that's the bit that really helps the jockey wheels run proper and the chain run proper for a good shift. So after I finish cleaning the chain, just a little bit more degreaser back on. And what we're going to do is a bit that often gets missed is where the brake, brake dust gathers underneath the caliper. Now, some people may worry about the fat degreaser on the pads. By the time we've washed it off, by the time we've dried it, everything is going to work absolutely fine. So you've got all the degreaser on all the bits. How long do you need to leave that on there to marinate? So with a pro bike, by the time we've actually gone around, put the degreaser on, it should be ready to come straight off. Maybe for someone at home, they, you know, where they haven't cleaned the bike so often, maybe five, 10 minutes. But by the time you've done that, it should just be ready to rinse off. chain is looking pretty sparkling. Thank you. What is going to be the next step? So next step, I'm now going to give a quick rinse to the, the frame. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the sponge um, from our bucket full of uh, fairy liquid. Other washing up liquid brands are available. <laughs> um, it doesn't need to be anything more the drama, drama than that. It just needs to be That's really interesting. Washing up liquid, yeah. yeah. Does the job. Yeah. And then straight onto the chain. And then I'm going to apply fairy liquid to the rest of the frame. Um, and then wash it, wash it off. Is there a reason that you wash the chain again just with soap? Um, yeah, really just to get every last bit of grease off before we put new chain lube on. Cool. So when it comes to washing the frame, is there an order you like to do it from? So generally what most mechanics like to do is go top to bottom mm. and then from sort of back to front. So for instance, I'll start off with the saddle, yeah. making sure we get under the saddle as well, especially important when it's um, a wet and grimy yeah, race. Yeah. Seat post. And what we're also doing as a mechanic is we're checking for any cracks on the frame. It could be something hairline, but something that doesn't feel quite yeah, right. Yeah. Does that so happen often? That No, not often, but if you have had a crash in the day, you, you yeah. never know, especially on like, say, maybe a dark color or a black frame, that's yeah. something that's not so obvious. So then we take the stays, top of the stays, under the stays, top tube, down tube, handlebars where also you get the spit and the sweat, the shifters, the bar tape. Especially important for like, say someone like triathletes or people who are doing a lot on Zwift where the sweat gets onto, especially an aluminium handlebar. It can get pretty ming in it, can't it? corroded, yeah. yeah, as well, which obviously is not so good. No. Okay, so you've rinsed the bike off and now we're onto the wheels. Yep. I can actually see some dirt on the wheels. I know, it's unbelievable. Yeah. What are the top tips for washing the wheels? Okay, so what we're going to do is the same sort of thing, is degrease it first, because then as we wash the degreaser off, it's going to go on the, the rim. You don't want to be doing the job three times. So we'll degrease the cassette. Top tip is actually we'll degrease both sides of the rim to actually help the, the, oil, the oil run off of the wheel mm -hmm. as well. And then we'll put some degreaser on the hub, because again, the hub gets miss quite often as well. Yeah. It's quite hard to get in there sometimes though, isn't yeah. it? This, yeah, this is where the brush is really helpful. Like um, we've got a couple of small brush options that you can use as well. Yeah, and do you wash the tyres? We also wash tyres. So after I've, after I've degreased, after I've rinsed that off, then I'll use fairy liquid to wash the wheels. Nice. So, bike's washed, all done? Uh, no. Next, we need to dry it. We need to polish it, lube it. And then on a race bike, we then check any bolts for like loose bolts or make sure it's ready to race. So still quite a bit to go. Still a little and bit to go. And I'll be honest, sometimes I do just wash my bike, put it back in the garage. Not, Why shouldn't we do that? Not a good idea, because obviously it can go corroded, it can you know get all seized parts and everything. So what we're looking to do once it's all dried off is make sure there's uh, an application of uh, bicycle lubricant onto the chain. And generally what I'll also put is like a nice light uh, Teflon lubricant on the jockey wheels um, and a little bit on the cassette as well. 
And what are you using to dry the bike? Uh, just a normal towel. Um, normally, if we had the race truck here, we'd have a compressor to make everything a little bit quicker. The weather's good here. The bike's pretty dry within about 10, 15 minutes, so it's not too bad. But yeah, in a really wet race, I'd be there with a compressor blowing it all off, a towel, and then yeah, just finish it off with a nice polishing cloth. Nice. And one more question. What is the worst or the dirtiest bike you've ever had to clean? Would have been a mountain bike from 2007 24 hour, Red Bull 24 hour race wow. in uh, Shropshire because it was just raining for 48 hours. British weather. British weather. So it's been super interesting being able to spend some time with Mike and seeing a totally different side to the race that some people might not see the behind the scenes of the race. But that's one bike down for Mike, only six more to go. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let us know down in the comments what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.